cover our body with clothes. Clothes protect our body from dust and bad weather. Well-fitting, neat and comfortable clothes also improve our personality. We wear footwear such as shoes, sandals and chappals to protect our feet from getting hurt while walking or running. Remember to wear proper fitting footwear as too tight or too loose footwear can damage our feet or affect our walking style. Need for clothing Clothes give us protection from heat, cold, rain, strong sun rays, snow, insect bites and dust. Clean clothes protect us from certain infections as they do not allow the germs to come in contact with our skin. Well-fitting and clean clothes give us a smart appearance. Clothes for every season Can you think of wearing a thick sweater on a hot summer day or a light cotton shirt on a chilly evening? And wouldn't you get completely drenched if you don't wear a raincoat when it is pouring? We select our clothes according to the climate or the weather condition of the place we live in. Summer, Spring People wear light-colored, loose-fitting and comfortable cotton clothes. These keep the body cool, tiny pores help air to circulate freely, also absorb sweat easily and make you feel cool and comfortable. Winter People wear thick woolen clothes such as sweaters and coats. These keep the body warm. They do not let the body heat escape. Wool is the best fiber for such garments. Rains or monsoons. Rubber or plastic material raincoats and or umbrellas for protection against rain. When a raincoat is worn over our regular clothes, it protects us from rain by not allowing water to pass through and thus keep us dry. Rubber footwear such as gum boots are also worn in monsoon. Clothes from fiber to fabric to fashion Today, we have a range of materials to choose from. Cotton, silk, nylon, linen, wool and so on. But, this was not so thousands of years ago, when man used the skin height of animals as clothes. As man progressed, he started using different materials for making clothes. These materials can be classified as natural fibers and man-made fibers. Natural fibers Natural fibers are those that are obtained from living things like plants or animals. 
These include mainly cotton and jute, though we get natural fibers from banana and hemp too. Silk and wool are natural fibers obtained from animals. Fiber is also obtained from animals such as goats, camels and yak. Man-made or artificial fibers Some fibers are developed by way of scientific experiments using different chemicals. They are called man-made or synthetic fibers. Nylon, Dacron, Rayon, Terulene, Polyester are some artificial fibers. Clothes made from them are easy to wash and also dry very quickly. They do not crease easily and thus do not need regular ironing. However, Clothes made from these do not absorb perspiration and also catch fire very easily. Uniforms We see people around us engaged in different occupations wearing specific garments. These garments which give them identity of their occupation are called uniforms. Children wear uniforms to school, which also identifies them, especially in crowded areas. Care of clothes Your clothes last longer and look smarter when you take good care of them. Use clothes with care Always check the washing instructions of a garment mentioned on the label. For example, cotton clothes can be washed with a detergent, whereas silk garments should be dry cleaned or washed with a mild detergent. Also check for garments whose color can run. Wash them separately. Dry your clothes in open shade and not in direct sun as the color of the clothes may fade. At times, silk clothes are damaged by small insects. Keep naphthalene balls or dried neem leaves in the cupboard to keep the insects away. Wash off stains from clothes as soon as they are formed. Sparingly used clothes should be kept out in the sunlight from time to time. Thus, now we have learned about clothes we wear.